And how's life been treating everyone's favourite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mon. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds... unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like Dark Elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that?
We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open, now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Kill us, Blazin! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Case you take a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay. Good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on. Let me show you how it works. Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. To get to any of those realms, you'll need a seed for them. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Every spy. Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? off to a lively stop. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. <laughs> What's the chain in the water for? That would be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still... 
still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have helped that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. You never asked Mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard, oh. that water would be frozen in a second. <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Trade Mars Brasser. Father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. <laughs> huh? Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Oh! 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Oh, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Svartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? I lied. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge?
Father, it's there. Find anything good up there? Cap those geysers. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Yes, the wheels move. 
moving and the gate's coming down. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look! There's a chain we can pull up there. Nisa! Cover that guy from here. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the guys, the pressure will turn the wheel. coming down. Is there something else we can hit? There's still the other chain to pull, but how are we gonna get to it? Maybe 
try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. I still don't see how we can get up to that chain. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Can you see anything from that block? What about freezing the guys or under the wheel? Maybe? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey, Dwarf! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. It was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk we to you for... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail <gasps> in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. <laughs> is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sam! <laughs> 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 
Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Take your time. Whenever you're ready. left something behind. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whoo! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the crazy crawly of me to believe. How was I supposed to know they were there? Behind you! Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. What can I make for you? So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Till we meet again! I'll disinfect my tools. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not.
That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Be safe! Another of Cavassia's poems. Outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No nothing. Leave! A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. <laughs> I see something. Hello? What? What?
may need some special equipment to use. She wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. <laughs> this looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down.
sorry. One more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We can prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Dragon sculpture is not bad.
Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose.
father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. If the dwarves didn't like working for us, couldn't they just quit? I do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. Didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. You should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, you can see where it leads. No! Good thing you learned the runes, brother.
coming! It's a bird trap! Spawning a little witch is like there's no tomorrow! Uh -huh, it will be so! Left eye! Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. <laughs> Harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We could see it fine from here. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. At your service. Orange.
Want something in particular? Poor souls, fighting the ace here is a thankless job, as you well know. <gasps> There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work with the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh?
You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. <gasps> Brother, before we leave, perhaps it might serve us to check the rig and see if it spat anything up. Is that pure Spartalfine slag? Give it here. <sighs> Whatever you need. The dwarves survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Spartalfine. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Ah, but enough of that for now. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stone mason. Hi. He quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Greenfield. Who built the walls of Asgard, and something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. Nice. Nice. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. We can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were mucky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. And we'll just stop there for now. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet.
Come here. What do you think it means? I've seen more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Seagrin's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Namir. Any more Thor and Odin stories to remember? Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Landed by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thren the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back. And sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Thrung near the Brawler. Stone Giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. No. This is... It can't still be here. What? There's a key on this. I want it. I need you to find it, brother. An innocent life has escaped. Namir, you said an innocent life was at home. Did Odin trap somebody here? No, lad. I did. Weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it was freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. Whoa. 
Hey, what if we climbed over to the lift? He were looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Pause there. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. <laughs> Bet we could swing across that uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Not quite right. It's gotta be the right spot. from your blades would cause quite a boom.
think we could break through the ground here. If you found a high enough place to drop from. The dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einherjar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye.
We can reach it there. Yeah, that looks right. So meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That sparklefine slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Hmm. <laughs> 
Nice. The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rig. Getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. <laughs> Behind him! Incoming! 
If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Nothing appeals to you? What is this? A Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I caught it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked. That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Yeah! <laughs> 
Right. We chained the fence too. If you could. <laughs> easy. Easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. illuminating. Source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns. Never anger your feeling, but ever loathing toward me. It's nothing to what I've said to myself. I know. Just the tail left now. Look out! Red's net! The master's hiding some sort of device. lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. Would be long expired by now. 
but apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving. I don't understand. Let us continue. Down that rope should take us where we need to go. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, brother?
This creature, the mining race, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can face this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. But that's not enough. It seldom is. What's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. A while ago, you mentioned Odin's ravens. 
What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Brother, do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... Huh? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead.
best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. This isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Durlan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. I thought you would say... Just passing through. Oh, oh, oh. 
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. <laughs> Nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. We may need some special equipment to use this. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Bari, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Oh, oh, no, Yeah! 
one was tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. Think that Drekius what killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Just keep coming from that pillar. Looks like a mess. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my left. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. Kraken hmm. Hatchling gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, 
uh, thinner. Yeah, covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Stone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the Whetstone. <laughs> this 
place is incredible. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. <laughs> 